is the TLDR version. The Adventure 5M Pro extruder's not extruding. You do have to take all of this apart, remove three screws, remove this whole headpiece, take it all the way down until you can get the extruder out. The extruder just disassembles with pressure fittings. And once you get that done, you'll be able to put this all back together and you can start printing again. It's probably a 10 minute repair um, as long as you've got some technical skills and a, and a good Allen key handy. Uh, very doable. It is repairable, but it was kind of frustrating. Um, I'm hopefully back to making beautiful prints again. Here we go, back in business. Pulls it right down in. And we are extruding again. Alright, so it wasn't my nozzle. This is on my Adventure 5M Pro. The n it's only been through, it's made about five prints. Hardly any filament has been used up. Sorry, this one back here. So it's hardly used any filament. And I'm obviously pretty well versed in these printers, so I knew that it was probably an issue with the extruder or the nozzle. Nozzle was fine, and this is my first experience with these 5M, and I've literally only had it a day. Um, made it through five or six small prints. So the nozzle was fine. I could pull the pull that nozzle right out. I really like this idea of being able to do a quick replace. But when I found, when I got to this, there's only the three screws, so this pops apart pretty easily. But then I figured out that this was just literally press fit together. And if you look down inside that extruder, you can see it just sucked in all that filament and just made a disaster. So this did it by itself and there really isn't an easy way to fix that. So I'm gonna try and see if pick that out of there. I'm going a little deeper and I can see it actually got around, wrapped itself completely around that extruder gear. Good news is all the gears appear to be metal. Bad news, that's how much filament was wrapped around the inside of those gears. Press that gear back in. Press the outer cover back on. I ran a piece of filament through it and you can see that it's definitely completely unclogged and the gears are actually working correctly and they're spinning when I push through, push the filament through. Back in and secure it with those three screws. Plug the extruder fan back in and route it. Don't secure those three screws tightly. You're going to want to make sure you run it underneath those two tabs first. And you'll plug the entire main fan assembly in there on the board. That's that one right there. Drop that main board back on and secure those two screws. Note that the shorter screws go on to hold underneath this board and you you can just squeeze those two tabs down there but those those two screws under there are the short ones and when you put this guy back on you just squeeze those two tabs make sure your electrical connection is plugged back in and then your slightly longer screws are the ones that go in over here on the sides to hold on the top of the head now you can reattach the whole front face piece here which is this guy and that's really nice because that just attaches with magnets and a little bit of hook and then you'll want to put this screw back in on the side. That one over there on the left side is your adjustment, tensioner adjustment for the actual uh, extruder spring. So that tighter this is, the tighter it squeezes on that. It's actually set quite a ways down inside of that. I'd say you'd want to go clear till it's seated, but not too tight. Just gently seat it. And then finally you can take your nozzle, push it back up inside, underneath of there. You have to squeeze those two tabs on either side and then you'll push that in. And then finally you can push your filament back through, put it back in the top, feed it back down into there and do the preheat sequence. So my verdict on this, um, the machine's still serviceable. Um, this is my first foray into a core XY of a of a really consumer grade machine rather than one of these DIY kind of machines I've had Creality's and quite a few others um, it's still serviceable uh, that seems like a really strange thing I have never had that happen on any of these you know G-Tech kind of extruders 
they just don't tend to do that those open styles yeah it is what it is um so if you happen to have this problem at least now you know how to fix it